guys welcome back to my channel and i am here to bring you or to teach you how to start couponing at Rite Aid i know this is actually i am surprised that a lot of you wants to you know to learn how to start couponing at Rite Aid you guys have Rite Aid in your area but you never ever try couponing so i will try my best to get this very simple and easy to follow um, if you have an experience couponing with CVS and Walgreens, it is actually completely different from Rite Aid, but it's the simplest among the three pharmacies that you can think of. But I'm here with Gray. He was sleeping earlier, but I think I woke him up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start with couponing at Rite Aid. So if you are not sure if there is a Rite Aid close by to you or on your area just go ahead and google just google Rite Aid pharmacy and then put your location and it should help you sort or find any Rite Aid close by in your place for me actually what I do is I I personally like using Yelp page when I need food when I need like services for the car when I need gas, I use Yelp basically instead of Google. But yeah, also Yelp is another option for you to check if there is a Rite Aid closer to you. All right, so that being said, if you find out that there is a Rite Aid in your area, yay. If there's none, I'm so sorry. I wish everyone had one, but it is what it is. So the next step you need to, to do is you have to download the Rite Aid app on your phone. I am an Apple user, so check the Apple Store if go ahead and download the app, the Rite Aid app. If you're Android, I don't know what's. I was never an Android user at all, so I'm not really familiar with how the Android system work, but. Of course, the same as um, iOS, you should have like an Apple store that you can download the app. But go ahead and download that. So Rite Aid app looks like this. The one in the middle right here, you will see I have Walgreens, CVS, Ralph's, Office Depot, Target, everything. But Rite Aid app look like that. Um, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and pause this video. I will wait for you. If you already downloaded the app, perfect. Let's go ahead and start browsing the app. Okay, so when you open the app, the first thing it will show you is this is like the home page or the main page of the app. I am right now logged in, in my side with my sidecar because I did use that earlier with my shopping. But that's what the main page will look like. For couponing people, the only two pages or how do you call this tabs that we are using is the mainly the rewards. And if you want to buy online, purchase online order, or do a curbside pickup, Rite Aid also offer that. Also, with curbside pickup, Rite Aid offers promo code, so you can go ahead and check. It should show on the app as well if there's a code available. I believe right now I am, I am on the website. There is a promo code when you buy online and you do a curbside pickup. You get 30% off when you spend $40. And the code is 30BOPSJUNE3. But yeah just for your reference but it's not really big deal right now so um you can click on the online deals let me show you that again so click on the online deals and then if you want to do a shopping just go ahead and browse here or the faster way to search an item is go on search category okay so let's say we want a way and my phone has an autocorrect is always say okay with delay but there you go i search up a lay there and it will pop up you can click on the item 
and then when you click on it if the item is on included with the promotions it should show you here let's say spend fifty dollar you get ten dollar bonus cash if the item is on promotion and then on the bottom as well if there is a coupon attaching to a product the coupon should show that it's, it's available to clip or um you already clip it it shows clipped all right so that's that and if you want to order online simple i think it's pretty easy to understand add to cart and then click your cart and then check out so it's pretty easy it's pretty basic all right so let's go back to the main page all right so we're back on the home menu so now if you want to access your account make sure though um you sign up for the Rite Aid account um, I believe you can do it also on the website online or you can go to the store and they will gladly sign you up with the Rite Aid account I believe you just need your phone number your email and then your name so yeah so if you have your Rite Aid account already so go ahead with the rewards and then i don't know i'm double checking if there's some important information for me that might get compromised but i think it's okay um so this is the page that we will always use when you click on a right aid so um the my points is how much you earned per visit so i believe it's one dollar is one point if I remember that right okay and then the next one here is your bonus cash that is your Rite Aid money that's how much money you have in your account and then on the bottom of that there is a tab where you see view activity same thing with this one you can also view your activity with like how you earn that points but this is the most important that we use so you want to click on that and then it will pull up your bonus cash activities so this is what my sh mine is showing right now which this is the one i did a little earlier if you're interested to see what i got today i just uploaded my haul video also so go ahead and check that but right now um it will is showing me that i have a total of thirty dollars and 77 cents bonus cash money on my account and then if you want to click on this this is it shows you how much bonus cash you have in the expiration date which is july 28th um bonus cash is available until the 30 days or 31 days or we can call a month after you earned it so i did earn this bonus cash today which is today is june 28th so they will expire after 30 days or one month you earned it okay so with that page you can click on that and then it will show you where and what promotions you earned the that bonus cash so it's pretty basic it's it's really it's easy to understand but yeah also what i like about this tab is since we have a lot of the spend 50 get 15 we have four of those four barcodes per week it helps me to identify which barcodes i already used because if you are bouncing because me i do bounce back with two different accounts it's easy for me to check which barcodes are already used for a specific account so i will not get an error or a mistake of scanning the same barcode you know what i mean and not ended up getting the 15 dollars so what you can do is you go to the redeem so it will show you available expiring redeem expired but you want to go on redeemed okay and it will show you all your previous activities and then you can click on each of these and then you can check which 
barcode basically let's see let me put, pull out the last one so if i can get this thing worked <laughs> so let me pull the last one right here which is the very latest so i can scroll on that and check which barcode i did use from the previous transaction and i can identify which one i can use so that's that it's pretty easy trust me all right so let's go back on this page so now um it will show you right this tab right here is what we call the points the reward points the reward points which when you hit 1000 it's 10 points per one dollar but anyway it will show you the tracker right here and then once you hit 1000 that will convert into two dollars okay so you have an option right here which i actually turned on mine you can turn this thing on and then it will automatically convert your 1000 points into two dollars you don't need to do anything but remember when you converted those points they are good only for 30 days one month but if you did not convert them i think they stay longer than that i don't know how long but they will stay longer than when you convert them but i do always convert them because i keep rolling my bonus cash so there's no reason for me to save them all right so the other thing i want to mention with the this bonus cash um thing is how you figure out so it will show here my point was 730 so what you can do is time set by 0.002 so 730 times 0 0.002 so my points right now is equivalent to a dollar 46 so that's how much i do for, how much i calculate that okay so remember that and then if you want to click on this one it says how do i redeem or how do i earn reward points okay it's actually here so 10 points for each one dollar spent on qualifying products across the store okay if you do pick up your prescription from Rite Aid um, you get 250 to 750 points that's a lot you guys and then 250 points per eligible immunization in the store okay so you can read more here you can press learn more and it bring us to the website for further details and then let's go to the more exciting part <laughs> all right so exciting two tabs right here so the one with scissors is the digital coupons which we often called load to card coupon okay so you want to click that and then it will pull out the new coupons you have for me you will not see any because i already clipped everything on my account and i do that every sunday because i don't want to miss out on savings so everything here is loaded on my account so you just want to scroll on here to see if there's coupons that are you know applicable in your purchase and Rite Aid is pretty good with digital coupons Rite Aid is basically mirrorcoupons.com or PG Good Everyday site. So everything you guys is here on your phone. And it goes it goes on and on and on and on. But yeah. So so we're here, right? So what you can do if you wanna read the details per of coupon, you can just click click on it and it will pull out the description of the product. So let's say for this blue almond all diamond almonds it is 50 cents of one product so you can read the fine print right there if you need two product one product you know such thing and then um all right so on top here you will see a barcode thingy 
So if you click that, I, I just lost that. <laughs> so if you click on that, you will actually pull out a scanner. So you can scan any product in the store. Let me see if I can scan something. One second. Okay, so I found this Neutrogena that I've been using because it's hot in here. So what you can do if you want to, you know, if you want to find out something about the product, if there's coupon attaching, if there's a promotion with it. So you can scan the product using that barcode. Okay, so let's do that. I don't know if you can see, but it's going to be like that. And I'm looking at the camera. So it's going to be, and it will pull out any digital coupons that you might have in your account if you have not clipped them. If you clip a coupon already, it will not show up. So you have to go to your clipped offers and scan your coupons to make sure you have the coupon. Okay? That is one thing that I think Rite Aid need to fix because when you use the scanner or the barcode and you have a coupon and you clip the coupon already it won't show up so yeah just be mindful with that and then there is also an option right here on the top right where you can sort the coupons from um personalized brand and date newest type value i don't really use that i like to scroll scroll through my coupons and then there is a like a little magnifying glass right here where you can search a certain coupon so let's try that let me see let me type tide if it will pull out it says nothing but you guys i actually have a tide product but i don't know why oh look i have tide right here i don't know why um it's doing that but yeah so just better to score your coupons all right so let's go back to the previous page okay so now we're done with the digital coupons let's go to the weekly ad so this will show you what is the sale of the week and if you are viewing it on thursday you can already view the sales ad for the following week and like what i said my zip code doesn't have a right age so i have to enter a different zip code which i just use my work <laughs> because there's i think there's two right aid close by to my work all right so so right here so it will show you the um the ads when you type in the, your zip code and this is awesome because they already have today is wednesday they already have the ad for next week which is crazy but the top one here the the one always on the top is the ad for the current week so you can just click on that scroll on the ad i want to touch the promotions and stuff because most of these are you know basic i think it's it's just it's easy to understand but you'll see the ad you can scroll all the way down you know check the sales but most of the time we will get this 15 earn 15 when you purchase 50 um barcode so what you can do is just screenshot it because the store don't have any more paper ad so everything now is digital unfortunately but you can take a screenshot of that and have your cashier scan for you all right so um let's go back back so that's that you can also view the ad for the next week which is awesome and it seems like we are getting an awesome one next week i'm so excited so we have earn 
ten dollars when you spend 40 next week which is oh my god i like this one because it's a lesser auto pocket because it's only 40 dollars instead of 50. so that's that and i wanna i'ma check that one later but you guys i i'm just excited with rite aid lately they've been great they've been awesome with deals all right and then the last option here is your your rewards card if you don't remember the phone number for some reason with your account you can click that i will just blur it you can click that and it will pull up your barcode of your account cashier can scan this with no problem or there is another option for you you can add it on your apple wallet which sometimes i do that too if i have a bad reception so it's easy to just pull out the the card number it's on my apple wallet yeah it's right on my apple wallet so that's that and then what else i would like to mention i think that's it for the app that's it for the app you guys app is very um it's easy to understand so let's move on to the website which i am on my computer right now so what i will do is because i want to show you something amazing here i'm gonna do a screen recording so that i can share that with you shift command five and then let me record this capture all right all right so we are on business i think hopefully it's recording <laughs> i've never done this before but so i am on my page i already log in make sure you remember your email and your password if you have a short-term memory like me <laughs> i do use my notes on my phone i write down everything on my notes and i just save it there and then whenever i need it i can pull it anytime i want so that's that so we are on my account here so you can see my name right here you can view your stuff right here under your accounts one thing i want to show you guys over here is this tab on the left which it will pull out the important thing that we always mention about this bonus cash challenge where we earn extra points okay so you want to click on that all right and then here you have to log in if you remember your phone number go ahead and put your phone number if you remember your right aid rewards account number which is the barcode you can tap the one in for me i can't remember my phone number not the other one so i'm gonna type in my phone number which it's already in there and then i will sign in all right so it will pull out the bonus cash challenges here and you'll see on the top right i already earned 35 dollars yay and this is two months long promotion it run for two months so for now this is may and june that we have going on and it will end on friday and saturday we are starting with july and august okay so scrolling down you will see the guides over here you will just read with it if you're new and you know just try to understand what's going on but it's pretty basic you guys so right now um we only have two days left to complete the 10 challenges so i already completed six challenges so far i might complete i try i will try to complete these today or tomorrow or possibly friday the other four so then i will earn a total of seventy dollars right here so here is the good thing about this so if you are able to complete 10 out of 10 it is guaranteed that you will earn 
seventy dollars um though i'm not sure if your bonus cash challenge will be over 70 but probably you'll get more extra i'm not sure i have not yet completed 10 challenges so i'm just gonna be honest there but these are the challenges that i already completed so i did complete the arm and hammer i earned four i completed this is i think visit i believe this is four times i got five dollar and then my nivea my downy my gain and my pepsi so i completed six offers i just need four more you guys to earn seventy dollars so i am hoping to do these colgate illustrian ferrero and lysol hopefully today i'm planning to head out after filming this to do this deal <laughs> so yeah and then you can just scroll down what else you wanted but these are the product that i don't really like and there's not really much promotions going on so yeah there's also scott but there's no deal on scott for now so that's that bonus cash challenge actually is very interesting and exciting at the same time because it helps you plan your deals together with the sales ad and the promotions that they have going on not including the rebates that we have so that's one thing about i like about rite aid is this one it helps me like brainstorm deals more harder <laughs> if you know what i mean because i have to work with also this one but that is bonus cash charges and if this is how i save my bonus cash challenge page for um an easy access because you have to log in most of the time in your Rite Aid account. What I do is I open a browser on Safari. So click on your Safari. Let me just log in real quick. And I do use the saved password face recognition stuff. So then it's easier for me because I always forget my passcodes and stuff. So you know what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna log in here and I just lost that page. Okay, so here is what I do, you guys, and I hope this will help you even like you're we've been writing for a while. So let me just next one. Okay, so here's what I do. So I have these four tabs with Rite Aid website. Okay, because I have two cards. So the one with 35 actually is my main card, which I have been using for like two months already, like regularly using. This one with $13 was my side card that I just started using last week, I believe, that came back to life. <laughs> so I did start using that and I had $30 in bonus cash there. So um, I just leave the tab right there. So when I'm done, I just press done or exit or just close the tab and then whenever I need it again I just open that and then just press this one and it will show me again so if you click on it it will show you my bonus cash challenges all the way down and then if I need the other card I'll just click on that and click on the other card and it will show me again how to check those bonus cash challenges easy i don't need to log in log out log in log out because that's tedious so <laughs> that's how i do it and the fact that it is july on saturday that's why i have four open windows for the upcoming um bonus cash challenge days which is on saturday so okay so let me show you here so this is the main page okay so you want to click on here it will show you next month all right next month and then these are all your bonus cash challenges starting july 1st which is saturday and i already checked mine 
and mine was awesome you guys i love my challenges i think i'm gonna hit the 10 10 bonuses again or 10 challenges and yeah it will show you here's another interesting thing um there is this one where you visit um i'm i have this make eight visits and you have to spend 15 dollars and then i will earn 10 dollars back which i for sure will earn this <laughs> so yeah and then just be mindful of which um bonus challenges you have okay and then so that's that and then if i want to view the future bonus guest challenges with my other card i just have it up here i kind of pair it together so i won't get confused so that's that and my other card i only need four visit spending 15 dollars on this card to get me a 10 dollar that's awesome and then i have gain nivea home dove duracell todd bounty downy arm and hammer nestle um hershey big win mars lysol got now nothing and more so that's how i try to save time with this bonus guest challenges just to have the tab open so that's that and then the fun the fun thing about this one is um, you can plan your deals with it. Like, let's say, um, like for instance, the Arm and Hammer is very hot last week and this week. If you watched my previous writing video from last week, I scored like, I think 10 Arm and Hammer kitty litter <laughs> for gray. And I never couponed kitty litter before i always get them from costco and with me just rolling bonus cash with the right aid you guys awesome awesome really life-changing life-changing so yeah so you can play around with it and on actually you guys on saturday so it's another start of the month the bonus cash challenges I have to double check if I max out my monthly deal with Arm and Hammer and your girl might do it again. So speaking of monthly deal, so there are a few things you have to remember with Rite Aid. There is weekly deals and there is monthly deals. So mostly monthly deals is limit of four, okay? Weekly deals is limit of two otherwise stated on the ad which is it was it will be there on the fine print limit one or for monthly deals there are some instances that monthly deals is only limit two so you have to read you have to read 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 every time and another thing if you cannot keep up with you know all of this craziness write them down write them down I do write them down for me because since I am juggling two cards, I have to remember everything. And I'm using my fine Apple <laughs> notebook. Write them down. It's just easy. Write the deals that you have done with this card and then how much more tracking you have, you know, stuff like that. And then the other thing is if you don't like writing down stuff, just pile your receipt staple your receipt together so whenever you need to double check if a certain deal like the duracell battery it was a hot deal like two weeks ago i think and if you need and it is double dipping this week with the promotions if you want to find out if you did a deal already you have your receipt to go back and double check everything so you have that option all right so um what else i want to mention i know this video is gonna be long you guys so bear with me <laughs> so um now with the barcodes the coupons okay so for the coupons we have tons all right so for the spend for example the spend 50 get 15 dollar um barcodes let me see if I can pull that up for you. 
Oh, with the spend 50, get 59 bonus cash, you have to spend obviously $15. So we always get this spend $50, you get $15 in bonus cash, or for example, spend 40, we get $10 in bonus cash. S earning barcodes you can only use one per transaction you cannot stack it with for example i received yesterday a earn five dollar bonus cash when you spend twenty dollar on oral care those two fight together they won't go through most likely the the earn fifth when you spend 20 might get kicked out or whichever ones so you can only you use one earn barcode per transaction all right hope that makes sense okay another option or another scenario we receive these of 25 i also got this in my email it's a five of 25 um barcode and currently we have two availables so you can stack these together you can um purchase 50 as long as you met those two threshold 25 and 25 you can save ten dollars if you want to use that four dollar off on any purchase you have to spend 54 dollar worth of item okay 54 dollars if you want to use there is another coupon that we have going on which is save four dollars i'm trying to pull the coupon save four dollars when you spend 15 right here spend four dollars when you spend 15. so you have to add all those thresholds so 25 25 4 and 15. so you have to spend a 69. so whenever it's a threshold coupon you have to add everything okay add everything another thing you want to um, remember is if you are using load to card coupon or digital coupon you get a factor dose in so for example um, you are using the 5 of 25 barcode okay pretty basic you grab three of these your total is let's say $25 but you have a two dollar load to card coupon on one that two dollar will not come off because the threshold coupon covers already your entire purchase so you have to add like a two dollar item two dollars say this is a two dollar item so for total purchase is 27 so that your load to card coupon will come off because that has need to attach on another two dollar worth of product if that makes sense so you have to add up your math okay um what else i have to mention here and then we have these we also have this earn four dollar bonus cash um i believe this is a limit one per card so you can only use this one per card and when you say earn it's only you can pair this with other earn 15 you spend 50 or earn four dollars i mean five dollar when you spend 20 or care you can only use this once okay only one earn per transaction um but there is this four dollar off on your next visit in store this is multiple use but you can only use one of this per transaction but you can rinse and repeat deals you get four dollar off on every purchase to um receive emails from writing there is a tab on the website you have to use your computer there is a tab under your account that it will show you the my account and then it will ask for your um 
communication preferences so it's under your account information and then you can click on that and then it will pull out the receive exclusive right of rewards promotion and account update through email check on that if you want those barcodes you gotta make sure you, you know you get a piece of cake <laughs> and just not rely on you know other people that post the the codes because you know sometimes people go on vacation people are not available you have to rely on yourself so you have to click that email green so then you'll receive all those wonderful coupons water is buy one get one free it's pretty common pretty basic you buy one get one free the free will ring up zero in your receipt it will not track for any spend 50 get 15 okay that will be zero and free items you cannot use coupons with free items it should be you know one cent or more you, there's no coupon attaching on free items and then some promotions that i want to mention here so we have these png product where it is on promotion for spend 30 you get 10 dollar bonus cash they are some are buy one get one half off and then or this one's two for seven ten ninety nine you can mix and match with these whichever you need and this is a limit of two per card so you can spend sixty dollars you get twenty dollar back and this one track yeah i just click on that the promotion tracks so you don't really need to spend you know $30 or $60 in one transaction so that should be okay and then um, there is this I want to mention the Listerine real quick where was that okay so this is what I did today the Listerine um, you earn six dollars in bonus cash when you spend 12 they are full price I think they're eight dollar and 69 cents in my store so I, yeah so i just grab i think like three of them and then it's will show you here it's a limit of two per card so you can spend technically 24 dollars and get 12 dollar in bonus cash and deals track at rite aid unless it's like buy two get like five dollar bonus cash those don't track so you have to buy two on, on the same receipt okay and i believe if the spend amount is less than ten dollars correct me if i'm wrong because i haven't seen that kind of promotion for a while you have to spend that ten dollars to get let's say earn three dollar in bonus cash so like the small price uh, promotions you have to buy them like in one transaction <clears throat> all right oh there's this they call we have this thing called the RC coupon so this is a store coupon so this is a four dollar off to Claire Claire roll hair dye so you can pair a manufacturer coupon with this I believe we have a six dollar off too so with that um, you get like ten dollar savings for buying two and using that this coupon and a manufactured coupon my Rite Aid accept internet printable coupon as well as paper coupon as long as it's not expired my Rite Aid doesn't accept expired coupon even if it's just a day expired everything should be up to date okay i believe you guys that's about it um if you need more knowledge you can there's a lot of people here on youtube that do rite aid couponing honestly i'm not really great i thought at rite aid <laughs> i still keep you know like messing up things um the people i can recommend here on youtube is the first one is Ravi Patel actually I've been following him for a long time he was the 
maybe the the OG um, Rite Aid coupon I've been following since way back then. Um, there's another lady that I used to follow before. She just do like a car haul. She just show the product in her car seat and then just tell you the coupons. But I think she already stopped uh, posting deals for a long time. Um, who else? Real Deals also on YouTube. She do awesome walkthrough with um, Rite Aid deals. And my favorite, Jody Dawn. She also do Rite Aid. Um, guys, I am I'm thinking who else on YouTube. But yeah, ma mainly um, those are the people that I sometimes do watch on YouTube. But if you have Instagram, Instagram is big, you guys. There's a lot of people on Instagram that post Rite Aid. So the first one is Coupon R Sweet. She is awesome with posting Rite Aid deals. Um, also, Real Deals also posts on Instagram. Sacktown Couponer. She's awesome also on Instagram with the Rite Aid deals. That's it, you guys, that I can remember. Yeah, but you can just look up, you can just type in Rite Aid couponing and it will pull up people that post Rite Aid deals. All right, you guys, I hope this video helps you to start couponing at Rite Aid. I know it's kind of like overwhelming after filming this I think there's a lot of knowledge that I just put out there but um, you can start with a basic deal you don't need to do the spend 50 get 15 because it's overwhelming I think but um, if you want to start on something that is basic you can do like one or two deals like for two, for example you can do that Listerine I think the Listerine is pretty easy you have to spend 24 and you get $12. And for bonus cash challenges, just go activate it. And then, you know, you don't really have to deal with them every time. And then, because they will just track your purchase. It's not really that you have to check it every time. And clip all your digital coupons because you won't know when you might use them. And they just come off automatically in the register. Um, also, I believe Rite Aid send coupons on mail, mailer, they call it mailer. Um, my account, my personal account actually registered in, on my, um, my previous place where it was my aunt's house. So all of my Rite Aid coupons actually go with her, <laughs> but I don't, you know, I, it's, it doesn't really bother me at all because I mean, we get good coupons just by e by email and just by with people sharing on social media. Um, I think that's all, you guys. So just start easy. Don't take it so hard. Slowly learn, adapt. Always take notes. Count your math right do a lot of screenshots that's what i do <laughs> and yeah let me know if this video is helpful and comment down below if you want to try to start to coupon at right aid and how it went for you all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye